Hey everybody and welcome back to McNulty's Book Corral. You know, every once in a while I get a message from somebody, an email or something, and they tell me things that I don't want to hear, like they don't like the books I'm reviewing or whatever, and it's pretty interesting. Uh, I delete them. Uh, and occasionally I get interesting questions. I think the most common question I get is, how many damn hats do you have? More than you do. <laughs> so... Uh, today we're going pulp. I haven't done pulp in a while and we're going big time pulp. Okay. We're talking about Allison V. Harding published by Armchair Fiction. Look at the size of this baby. Okay. The Forgotten Queen of Horror. 16 terrifying tales. I did an episode on Armchair Fiction and it's been too long since I talked about armchair fiction again. I love armchair fiction. Yes, I know they are subsidiary or related to Sinister Cinema. It's all good stuff. Um, now, Alison V. Harding, there's some controversy involving this, uh, this wonderful lady. Her husband worked for uh, Weird Tales, and his name was Charles Lamont Buchanan. And Alison V. Harding was really Jean Milligan Buchanan. And um, he died in uh, 19 or 2015. I'm sorry, her husband died in 2015, and she died in she died in 2004. He died in 2015. She died in 2004. And in all of those years, nobody thought to inter interview them about Allison V. Harding. All of these stories were published in weird tales. So because of that. Um, people are now rediscovering Allison V. Harding, a.k.a. All right, Jean Milligan Buchanan. And what I consider false speculation and false headlining is going on regarding um, the authorship of the stories. Because she was married to one of the editors or assistant editors of Weird Tales, people are speculating that uh, she didn't write the stories uh, and that it was him or whatever. Um, since nobody thought to ask when they were alive, um, take the facts as we know them to be. Uh, and the facts from the Weird Tales offices are that the checks were made payable to uh, Jean Milligan. She cashed them. She submitted the stories under the name Allison V. Harding, and there is no reason to question that unless somebody proves otherwise. Uh, I don't like that. Clickbait headlining, and people jump on the bandwagon to make a name for themselves or because they have too much time on their hands? I, I don't know. Uh, I'm willing to be corrected if somebody can prove it, but why bother even, you know, the time to ask them about it was when they were alive and nobody did. The bottom line is this, and this is what's important about armchair fiction. People are reading these stories. They're getting excited about these stories. There's a Facebook page devoted to Allison V. Harding interesting material she didn't write all that very much um they're all weird tales from weird tales <laughs> you know what a great magazine that was um unlike the one the current editions that exist today which are totally uninteresting to me i uh, somebody missed something somewhere um but the old stuff was great and these are really creepy creepy tales very well written allison b harding gene milligan so armchair fiction, the reason this is fun, again, is because people are reading it. It gets people excited about reading. It gets people excited about looking at um, the world of literature. Armchair fiction does that, and people are discovering uh, another voice in the vast firmament of life in the literary galaxy. Allison V. Harding, Jean Milligan. You know, I think that's neat that people are discovering this. And that's the important part, and we can thank Armchair Fiction for that. So, if you get a chance, pick up this. This is really great reading, really great reading. Now, I'm filming this in early November, and Halloween just passed, you know, and I was reading this over Halloween, and it's stunning, stunning entertainment. Really great. So, I can't recommend this enough. I can't say enough about it. Forget the controversies and the and the blabber and the hot air that's being expelled about who did what when to who and when and whatever and you know and there's one guy out there I'm not going to mention who he is uh, he's a well-known blogger and he actually said or he wrote the words that it's impossible no way that uh, uh, 
a woman could have written these stories. Uh, this is a someone that's an educated illiterate, uh, obviously, um, because that's ridiculous. Women are just as talented as men, if not more so. And yes, Jean Milligan wrote these stories, unless somebody proves me wrong. Um, great material. So check it out. Check out Armchair Fiction's website and stay well, stay happy, feed your brain. And why don't you pick up Allison V. Harding? It's good stuff.